Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. Under the patronage of His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Bahrain Royal Equestrian Endurance Federation Brief, Honorary President His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the endurance season 2020-2021 concluded with the final race at the Bahrain International Endurance Village and its wide participation of global stables and jockeys. The program included two international qualifying races covering 100 and 120 kilometers respectively, in addition to two local qualifying races covering 40 kilometers. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed his pleasure in the big success of the 2020-2021 season with the wide participation in all the different stages. His Highness noted that this success is a great motivation to continue achieving the objectives of endurance races and supporting stables and jockeys. His Highness also affirmed the support of the organizing international and local qualifying races for the stables and jockeys who were keen on providing distinguished levels despite the weather conditions that accompanied the race, pointing out the determination and expertise of the jockeys. His Highness stressed that during the coming period there will be wide participation of the Bahraini endurance on the international level and all will work on achievements and assertion, assertion of the kingdom status of the sports abroad. Meanwhile, His Highness Sheikh Nasser said that the brief under the chairmanship of His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa has exerted relentless efforts in preparing and organizing the season in its best image. The Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, First Deputy Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, President His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, hailed the tremendous success of Brave CF50 event, which took place on Thursday as part of the Combat Kingdom Series held in Bahrain on March 18th, April 1st, 2021, at the historic Arad Fort. His Highness Sheikh Khalid said that the, this success added to the achievements made by Brave CF, which saw the light on September 23rd, 2016, in the Kingdom of Bahrain, noting that the accomplishment wouldn't have been possible without the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for implementing the vision adopted by the prestigious championship. His Highness Sheikh Khalid revealed that Brave CF is making its own distinctive mark at the international level, stating that the championship holds multiple goals and its spread across various cities and capitals was sponsored to promote Bahrain's presence in this globe, sport, global sport as well as to bolster the kingdom's relations with the hosts at various levels especially sports. Meanwhile, His Highness Sheikh Khalid praised the huge efforts exerted by Prape Combat Federation in collaboration with Bahrain Combat Sport Council and Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation to prepare for organizing the second edition of the Combat Kingdom despite the ongoing coronavirus COVID-19 crisis.
In the presence of the chairman of the Rashid Equestrian Horse Racing Club's High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Environment and Deputy Chairman of the Club's High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, and Southern Governor, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the club held the 23rd horse race of the 2020-2021 season at the race course in Rafah Sakhir. A number of officials and representatives of race sponsors attended the seven round races held for the Cubs of His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, the Bahrain National Gas Company, uh, Bena Gas, the Bahrain Horse Welfare Authority, and the late Hassan bin Salah Al Rui. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa was presented the trophy of the seventh round by His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa after his horse byline won first place. Meanwhile, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa crowned Muhammad Khalid Abd Al Rahim the winner of the Southern Governance Cup. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa presented the trophy of his cup to Hassan Al Ajmi. Dr. Ahmed bin Ali Al Kabi presented the trophy of Banagaz Clubs to trainer Alan Smith, the winner of the fourth round, and owner Ibrahim Al Afu, the winner of the fifth round. The executive director of the Horse Welfare Authority, Yusuf Al Isa, crowned Hassan Al Ajmi the winner of the third round. Nasim Hassan Al Rui presented the trophy of the late Hassan bin Saleh Al Rui to winning trainer Abdullah Kuwaiti.
The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Ben Rashid Zayani, held a phone call with the U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken. Dr. Zayani congratulated Blinken on his appointment as Secretary of State and expressed aspirations to working together to deepen the relationship between both countries and serve their common interests. He stressed Bahrain's pride in the historical relationship between both countries and people spanning over the last 20, 120 years. The minister praised the strength of the Bahraini American relations and their development in various fields. He conveyed his appreciation of the great contributions by the American community in the kingdom to enhance cooperation in various fields. Al Zayani expressed the U.S. strategic role in protecting uh, the security of the region in which the U.S. official success in leading uh, U.S. diplomacy. For his part, Blinken expressed the U.S. appreciation of the firm cooperation with Bahrain and stressed the administration's keenness to consolidate relations and promote them to more comprehensive levels to achieve shared interests and maintain regional security. This Secretary of State affirmed his appreciation of the policy pursued by the kingdom based on achieving peace, protecting human rights and promoting sustainable development for prosperity. He praised Bahrain's steady success in combating trafficking in persons and noted the kingdom's efforts to prepare the National Human Rights Plan and invite the U.S. Embassy and the United Nations offices in Bahrain to contribute to these efforts. Blinken said that Bahrain has been an important partner to the United States for many decades and expresses appreciation for the kingdom's hosting of the Central Naval Force Command and has a prominent role in supporting U.S. efforts to combat terrorism. The conversation also covered several other important issues, including strengthening cooperation in various fields, developments in the political and security situation in the region, international efforts are being made to address the dangers of the Iranian nuclear program and combating terrorist organizations. The Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments has provided e-services in the justice sector through the national e-government portal contributing in the reduction of the number of procedures required to complete a service and save the time and efforts of the judge, lawyer and litigant. The application of electronic transformation in the justice sector have provided services such as filing civil, commercial and lawsuits of all degrees in addition to the notification of judicial announcements and the application of the case management system to prepare for pleading before the courts. These applications provide services to view case files and make decisions by the concerned courts, issue judicial rulings and implement judgments, in addition to inquiring about travel bans and paying sums due, as well as submitting and following up requests with the Department of Minors Affairs and Funds and adopting the electronic system for the provision of documentation services throughout the day and anywhere. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 522,955 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 259,575 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 9,098 with 763 recoveries, 1,074 registered new cases. 274 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 760 are contacts of active cases and 40 are travel related. The ministry announced two deaths today, male citizens aged 63 and 60 from COVID-19 and expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.